Hey there folks, Paul Markle with Student of the Gun and in my hands today is a really nice Colt carbine. This is a Colt M4 style gun, but that's not what I want to talk to you about today. Today I want to talk to you about this little thing right here, the vertical grip or the foregrip or the broom handle or whatever it is that you want to call it. There seems to be some confusion out there in the world as to where this came from, why it was produced, and why it exists. And if you think back to the history of the United States, the M4 or the AR-15, the black rifle market, from 94 to 2004 was essentially flatlined. It was essentially dead. Yeah, there were still some people that were buying the post-ban modified 10-round you know, neutered M4s, and there were some people who had bought them before and were grandfathered in. But let's face it, from 94 to 2004, the black rifle market was essentially dead. Well, what happened in 2001? 2001, we were attacked, we went to war against the terrorists, and the U.S. military started, well, sending troops all over the globe. Now, back then, they were still using things like M16A2s and the original version of the M4 with plastic handguards and so on and so forth. Well, it wasn't very long, and they decided, hey, we should put aluminum forends with Picatinny rails on our guns. The U.S. Army Special Forces Command and Special Operations, they started doing what's called a SOP mod package, where they would put a rail system and they would put a laser designator like this one and they might put a light and different things and so what they found is when they started adding accessories to the rails that they didn't have a whole lot of real estate to reach up and grab and get a normal hold like they would with an older rifle or an older carbine so what was the solution to stick one of these on here a vertical grip so if i stick a vertical grip on here I have something to hold on to when I have all these accessories on my aluminum rail. Now there's another reason why you would want to hold one of these, because what they discovered soon after putting aluminum rails on M4s was that after one or two magazines, especially if you're firing them super fast or full auto, after a couple of magazines, these things heat up as hot as a friggin' waffle iron. And even with light gloves on, like these mechanic gloves right here, you put two, three magazines rapidly through an M4, you grab a hold of this, and your hand is burning. So, what did they decide to do? Well, if I put this vertical grip on here, I don't have to worry about the heat radiating off of the aluminum hand guard. So, ladies and gentlemen, and of course, it allows you to get a good grip and balance and hold your gun, because why do we put pistol grips on, on rifles? Why didn't they just take this off and make us hold it over the top like an M1 Garand or a Mini 14 or whatever? Why do they put pistol grips on firearms, on carbines, on submachine guns? Because the human animal grips like this and has the most control by gripping like this, not like this. If you grip like that, it's not a strong grip. If you grip like this, it's a strong grip. So we put pistol grips onto our rifles, submachine guns, carbines, so that we can have absolute or greater control on the gun than we would with an M1 or a carbine or what have you. So that, that's why pistol grips are there. So if you think about it, you translate this grip back here to this grip up here. Now you have two strong grips on your gun. So uh, it makes a lot of sense. now. Obviously, there are a ton of different vertical grips out there. Uh, a lot of them are shorter than this. They shorten them up to two inches, two and a half inches, little stubby things. This one's about five inches long. But the reason that the vertical foregrip, the vert grip exists, is because of, well, the current global war on terror and the need for the U.S. Army, Special Forces Command, Marines, and so forth to be able to get a purchase on their gun when they had all the other jazz up here. Also, to keep your hand off of the super hot aluminum rail. So for those of you out there that are wondering, where did the vertical grip come from? Why is it there? What do we use it for? Ladies and gentlemen, 
that's it. That's the history of the vert grip in the United States of America. I am Paul Markle with Student of the Gun. Talk to you again real soon.